a Minnesota man who lost both his hands due to the deliberate indifference of Scott County Jail personnel has been awarded a historic settlement of $12.2 million. News.com has learned that Terrence Dwayne Winburn was jailed in August 2020 on suspicion of drunk driving, and while in custody suffered medical complications leading to the amputation of his limbs. Due to the inaction of jail officials, he did not receive prompt medical care, and on Wednesday, October 4, 2023, Winburn's attorneys announced the largest settlement in the state's history for jail-related injuries. Every time I dream, I dream that I have my hands, and I wake up and they are gone again. I'd rather have my hands than anything. Winburn said in news conference aired on Minnesota's CARE 11. According to the lawsuit his Robbins Kaplan LLC attorneys filed on Winburn's behalf in 2022, he was arrested in Minneapolis suburb Shakopee in the early hours of August 27, 2020, with a blood alcohol level, BAC, of 0.13%. The AP reports that later that morning his BAC had returned to zero and he started vomiting. During a jail check for COVID-19 by a nurse, Winburn could not stand. The nurse noted his right hand was extremely swollen and he seemed confused. In a later check, she was unable to measure his blood oxygen levels. But she did not get him to emergency care. Winburn's attorneys said the nurse failed to heed the many obvious warning signs of Mr. Winburn's deteriorating condition and chose not to provide vital medical care in the critical hours while he was at the Scott County Jail, according to CARE 11. Winburn's condition worsened, and on the evening of August 28 the corrections officer drove him to a hospital, according to the AP. Winburn had been held in jail for 39 hours. Winburn was then rushed to a larger Minneapolis hospital. Winburn was hospitalized for 122 days, 59 on a ventilator, the Minneapolis Star Tribune reports. Winburn's hands and part of his forearm were amputated due to flesh-eating bacteria, necrotizing fasciitis. He suffered organ failure and a stroke, and racked up more than $2 million in medical bills. Attorney Katie Bennett, who represented Winburn, described the state's inaction as inhuman and offensive on every level. That deliberate indifference allowed a bacterial infection to run rampant within his body, leading to a heart attack. And a host of other devastating and permanent injuries, Bennett said. Jail videos that could have acted as evidence in the case were not available as they had been destroyed after 90 days. Despite knowing that Winburn's injuries could lead to litigation, officials took no action to preserve those videos. To destroy the best evidence of the abhorrent conduct demonstrates the need for the ask for sanctions and the size of this settlement, Bennett said. Scott County personnel did not report the case to the State Department of Corrections within 10 days as required by law. The Star Tribune reports Scott County Jail has been repeatedly reprimanded by the department for inmate neglect. The $12.2 million settlement sum was confirmed in a statement released by Jason Hivelay, outside legal counsel for Scott County. The county and MCIT are hopeful the resolution of this matter will help provide Mr. Winburn with the medical care and quality of life assistance he needs, Hivelay said. Hivelay said Scott County and its insurer, the Minnesota County's Intergovernmental Trust, agreed to the settlement in exchange for dismissal of the lawsuit and a release from his claims.